everyone and i welcome you to this new video where we will see how we can remove this error so you can see a highlighted under or and underline under this android text and text view also if you see a yellow triangle here and then if you click on that then you will see it's written a message and sometimes it may also have happened that if you run your app then it may not run and you may see an error but currently i am able to run so it may or may it may not happen so it's not 100 percent sure that uh, it won't run but sometimes it happens that it won't run so now we will see how we can remove that so simply what you can do is that if you get your mouse here then you would see a yellow bulb and if you click on that then you will see extract string resource and you have to click on this also if you click all 10 enter then you would see an option and if you and then click on extract the string resource so you can give this text view or text box a name so give it anything so that it's always unique so text one and now you have to give what you want to write in this so i would simply write my name and then you click on ok so now you would see that it's has been removed and if you go to your project then value then you would see a strings.xy if you open this then you would see text one which we have set the unique id or unique name and then the text inside that also if you want to other way to do is that you i simply undo this and then i am giving this a simple name give it text only and then if you go to our string.xml file and now here we need to change something so this is a long process and it's not it will take so much of time so copying and pasting this and simply writing here text and then anything you want and now if you go here and then again we need to change here that is what we set the name search just search the name and then press the tab and now you will see it has changed to our desired text so this is a two process and i simply refer to the first one because it's very fast and does not take too much of time so you can do anything also if you want to change this like here the app name so simply referring to the app name you can do this also and if you want to copy something again and again then you can do this so you can do anything which you want and now simply saving the code and you won't see any error here again it's showing don't know why but yeah it's removed now yeah so this was the solution to this error and it may or may not be an error so it depends sometime it is shown sometime it's not so according to your preference or according to your problem you can fix this so thank you for watching the video i hope your problem gets solved and if it has been solved or if the fixes or if the issue has been fixed then please like the video thank you